What's good everyone? It's boy, your dig, four eyes, two G's here, and today we're here to talk about Ian Connor. Now, as you can see on screen here, there's been a bit of a controversy, I guess you could call it, within the Ian Connor community about where he's been. People are saying that he's locked up, etc, etc. I just want to kind of piece together all the available information we have to us right now and kind of give you guys my thoughts. So let's get into it. I'm just trying to get paid, uh, I'm off the Kool-Aid, uh, you are the lemonade, uh, might let my gun spray, uh, and you know that it's payday, do the race like I'm take it, uh, and you know I'm super saying, uh. First of all, shout out to everybody part of the live stream squad who tuned into the live stream earlier today. If you guys don't know, I do go live like three or four days a week, and we do have fun, we play music, I interact with y'all as you can see on screen right here, so make sure to turn on notifications to know when I go live, but let's get to it. Okay, so first of all, why are people saying that Ian Connor is locked up? Well, it's pretty simple, really. He's literally been ghost on social media for basically a month and a half now. And for anyone who follows him, you know, he generally stays pretty active. So obviously, this leads to a lot of fans kind of asking questions. As you can see, he hasn't tweeted for about a month and a half. And on top of this, he hasn't posted on Instagram for about a month and a half. As you guys can see here, July 3rd. And before that, he was posting every two, three days, etc, etc, which you guys can see right here. So this leads to people asking questions. And then as you guys saw right there, people people were alleging that he's locked up once again. Now I say once again because we saw him in June of last year actually go to prison on gun related charges where he got locked up for about a 12 month period or so. I'm sure you guys know about this, it was pretty big news at that time, but pretty simple, he got locked up and he was locked away for about a year, as I said, on gun based charges. And this brings us to this right here. Now I've done a bit of digging up and a bit of research myself and I searched the exact same LA records that popped up with this charge, which you can see is the exact same charge he went away for here. and no other arrest records or anything of that nature have popped up. Now, what that definitely doesn't mean is that he's 100% not locked up because if you guys don't know, these records are only specific to arrests and all of that information specific to that one area and that one database, if you will. So he could have been arrested in Milwaukee or Buffalo or some other database. And obviously you would have to search and find those ones. And I'm not gonna lie and pretend I searched every single database or anything like that. But I did search a specific one again and nothing came up. So although this doesn't 100% confirm he's not locked up, up right now, it's definitely a piece of evidence that suggests he isn't. However, on top of this, an interesting thing to note, if you guys have seen his No Jumper interview right here, you would know that Ian Connor isn't exactly the most uh, secretive person, I guess I would say, with his gun. As you can see right here, he's kind of flaunting it around on screen. But yeah, I thought that was pretty fun to mention. And it's a really great interview, by the way. Classic No Jumper interview. Make sure to check it out if you haven't. But now I wanted to touch on some speculation and some theories that I have to where he could be if he wasn't locked up. And before we get into that, guys, a quick reminder. If you guys don't know, I'm running a giveaway for this very rare Playboy Cardi merch I designed back in 2017 that has never been released to the public. As you guys can see, it's got a really nice and clean design. If you guys want to win this go over to my instagram at your dig follow me like the post tag two friends in the comments and you're in the running to win i ship anywhere internationally and i do pay for the shipping myself so basically no reason not to enter link in the description if you want to but let's keep it going now if you guys didn't know in connor is in a relationship with raven tracy the reason why i bring this up is that she's been kind of uncharacteristically inactive on social media as well as you guys can see july 11th was this post right here then there was basically a two-week break between them and then there was another post right here where she just came out and said, I know I've been away, I'm trying to get my paper straight. Now, keep that in mind, then we move on to Nick Dolan. If you guys don't know who Nick Dolan is, Nick Dolan is a designer who works for Ian Connor and works for Sicko. Of course, if you guys didn't know, Sicko is Ian Connor's recent brand that he's been pushing a lot. As you guys can see here, it's all over his Instagram, etc, etc. You guys probably know this already. Anyways, back to Nick Dolan. What I found interesting is look at this post right here. See you guys soon, June 11th. Now, what I'm thinking here is if he's actively working on Sicko right now, which we know for a fact he has been and he's taking a break on social media whilst working on sicko and then Ian Connor is also taking a break on social media presumably he's working on upcoming sicko stuff also and on top of that sicko's last post on social media was on June 27th so this kind of all points towards again this is just a guess maybe there's like a big upcoming drop for sicko or something like that and Ian Connor maybe just wanted to kind of stir up some controversy get people talking take a bit of a break from social media to really focus on this collection and then come back when he has something to show again I want to say this is just speculation 
speculation of course referring to these gun charges right here we don't know 100% whether he's not locked up I did search the exact same LA records and nothing did pop up and on top of that I feel as though if Ian Connor was actually locked up we would see someone close to him kind of start a little free Ian social media campaign or something like that which did happen last time and on top of that as someone who kind of follows Ian Connor and although I will admit I'm not a big fan of all of his work I don't mind some of the sicko stuff um, I really just hope he isn't locked up and I hope he's safe and I hope he's okay etc etc and he's just behind the scenes working and he's gonna pop out again also let me know in the comments below why do you think Ian has gone away on social media do you think he's locked up and also let me know if you mess with his work especially sicko personally as I said I don't mind some of the designs some of them are really really nice on the other hand some of them I don't really like as much but yeah let me know what you guys think about it I do really like this design right here though the joy one is super cool but yeah let me know in the comments also reminder about the playboy Cardi merch giveaway given this away completely for free i pay for the shipping myself just go over to my instagram at your dig and also a reminder about my own merch if you guys don't know i've got a couple cardi merch pieces i've got the your dig merch piece i've also got another cardi one got a trav one got a uzi one if you guys want to cop link will be in the description but regardless thanks a lot for watching if you guys haven't already like subscribe comment turn the notifications i'm grinding out here with daily content for y'all so if you could support me that would be much appreciated and there are more videos of mine on screen right now make sure to check them out if you haven't